Good morning, my beautiful masters, other parts of me, collective ascenders, planet ascenders, galaxy ascenders, universe ascenders. It is 11, 11, 12 at 11, 11 in the morning. And um, this morning I did that on purpose. <laughs> oh, wow. What, what an amazing time we're in right now. Right now, there are so many people in this time zone where I am and in various time zones all over this planet, which are doing their meditations, their focus, their dreaming their wildest dreams, envisioning heaven on earth. Um, and planet wide, we're joining in together today. And my perceptions this morning as I woke were not only of love and um, those energies that are around me that I'm in a constant state of enjoying and amplifying and holding for the planet and humanity for this change. Um, it wasn't just about the sensation of those energies that I was feeling. It was what has changed with those energies. And it really, today as I wake and I'm trying to put words to what I feel, there's my choo-choo train blasting as I say that, the energies are malleable right now. It's like we can take them and we can form these energies and we can form it into whatever shape we wish. And it, it is like clay, these energies, the intensity of the light that is within my own personal field, because I can't speak for your field, I can speak for mine. There is a, such a high light quotient that the actual power is not something that is going through me anymore. It feels like something that I can mold and I can shape and I can form. And today, as I'm envisioning heaven on earth and the creation of new earth, which we've already done, it's just we haven't stepped into the living of it. <laughs> Boy, those concepts are... are uh, it's some wild concepts being multi-dimensional and to form this life, form this illusion, form the new earth. And it takes time for the energies that we hold that we're putting in to that intent from our divine thought, holding the divine vision, speaking it forth and feeling it as it has already happened from our heart as we're already living it. It takes, there's a time period that, um, occurs from that envisioning and invoking of it until it manifests and this time period is getting shorter and shorter and shorter and today um it feels like we can actually mold these energies we can form them in into what we wish to see and that is such a wild sensation or perception that I've not experienced before and it becomes like being a light sculptor at this point um like being a potter of humanity and new earth there's my train again <laughs> and uh and I think it's just it as I'm going through this process of my own mastery, I didn't just jump into this world already being a master. It has been an ongoing process for my whole lifetime. And to get to the stage that I'm just stepping into to feel the force and the power, the thickness of the light, the intensity of this light. And that was interesting that the sun went behind a cloud as I said that. And it takes the darkness to be able to recognize the light. Uh, the intensity of this light uh, has power. It has force. It is like this Harley Davidson that's getting ready to drive by. <laughs> and 
it might take a long time for somebody who's kick-starting that Harley that will run forever when uh, it finally cranks up. But sometimes it takes a long time to get that engine running in the first place. And that's how I see my life. I came into this life holding the vision in seeing, in knowing my mastery, in knowing what I'm here for, but seeing a world that was so dense and dark that what light that I had and the frequency and vibration that I held at that time holding that vision it took many years to manifest in my life that which I was seeing that which was my dreams and now that so many of us are coming together as the final group of 144,000 here in 2012 um, as we're each in our mastery holding this very intense light quotient and high vibration that I'm trying in, to do the best to describe here uh, as we come together and focus on our dreams and invoke that and feel it feel the shifts as it has already happened then it is manifesting so very very rapidly and um, it's so interesting to watch so many other masters going through their process right now. And I was just reading James Tyrone and Jillian Macbeth and um, quite a few of other different people who are first waivers as I am describing the process that they're going through and their experiences right now. And I start to recognize these other parts of me in such different ways and I am a fragment in a greatest sense of Archangel Michael and James Tyrone is of Metatron and Jillian oh man it was so neat to listen to her describe 1111 today and the energies that we've been going through since we opened the 1111 doorway in 1992 and we've been able to incorporate and work with these energies which are uh, energies of masters and uh, and it's those energies which brings forth the train the changes within ourselves and allows us to remove the veils of illusion that we've been taught and trained by the 3 and 4d world to step into the 5D and much, much higher vibrations. In fact, this molding that I'm feeling today, this intensity of the light, we're in the 10th and 11th and 12th dimensional frequencies as we start working with that kind of light intensities where the light feels like that clay that can be molded and shaped into whatever we wish. The timelines are in a constant state of merging right now, and there's many perceptions that some of us have had about what the future will bring that are getting overridden by others' individual dreams. It's just like in reading Tybe's uh, Earth Keeper uh, Metatron channeling this morning, it's talking about the actual collective of humanity we're ascending mother earth right now and and mother earth will ascend and will be in her fifth dimensional state before many of the persons who are actually living on it in the collective that are still asleep at this point before they awaken and step into their mastery and it might be many more incarnations he says that it takes for this to happen uh for many of those individuals that are not yet awakened they are here to ascend but for the majority of the seven billion he says it could take up to 300 years and then there's those of us that feel that it will happen if not this year in the next few years we might have a mass awakening with these intensities of these energies that we're feeling right now here in these next months it could occur 
twelve 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 or December twenty first or in the early two thousand thirteen or as Drenvalo says before January two thousand sixteen and uh, and anyway that's the dimensional shift that I'm describing there where all the collective of humanity goes through their ascension process. Um, right now, one of my visions today with, uh, with feeling these very malleable uh, levels of light, like it's, uh, like it's almost a workable clay, like I'm being a god potter. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I can mold my world the way that I wish. I envision making 7 billion terracotta human beings, kind of like the terracotta soldiers that, uh, uh, that they're digging up and discovering in China, and just armies and armies of those terracotta soldiers. I envision making 7 billion little statues of the humans of the unawakened mass of humanity, the collective, and molding these statues and blowing the life and the light into them, into their ascended mastery and bringing them through the portal that we're going through just next week on 1122 as we activate and we go through the interior conversion and we switch from duality into oneness um, on the 11th gate of the 1111 doorway, which we had thought 20 years ago would close then. And only those persons who had gone through their mastery would be going through the ascension process. And now we know as we're stepping into our mastery and we are attuned to the divine plan, to the one creator which all seven billion of us and all the rest of this universe lives within for those of us that are attuned to the divine plan who are recognizing our individual mastery the mastery of our universe that's within we have seven billion of these universes walking around just in human form on planet earth and there there's a multitude more in this universe it just keeps on going forever you know we we are all part of the same consciousness and we all have our own universes within and so we are masters and creators of our own universe within but as we are ascending this universe those of us that have stepped into our mastery here at this time and have come into it remembered our mastery at this time we realize that we are here to ascend the collective which ascends the universe and with that there is no time it could take 300 years but i doubt it i seriously doubt it there's too many people stepping into their mastery at this point to to let that happen over a longer period of time like that what we do and how we increase our levels of vibration our light quotient and our consciousness affects everything else around how can it when we have so many people stepping into their mastery so i envision making seven billion terracotta humans one for everyone on this planet and one for everyone that hadn't incarnated yet on this planet. So we should increase that, that number. And blowing the life and light into them. And allowing the divine consciousness to flow through me and into that creation. And to bring it through the interior conversion, which is the 11th gate of the 1111 doorway which reverses the duality into the oneness, which is the ascension. <laughs> oh, here we go, peeps. And so that's my vision for today. And uh, what a lovely vision that is. And I am stepping and acknowledging my God self, my creativity, that which I truly am. And I live it. I live it from now on, forever and ever. And so many, I'm watching so many other people doing that too. Anyway.
that's this video for this 11-11. Love you all. Bye for now.